I think one of the best features Apple's added to the iPhone and iPad in the last couple years is the ability to use a third-party password manager anywhere in the system. And this doesn't just mean logging into websites, it means logging into any app on your iPhone or iPad. And that's super awesome, but it's something that's never come to the Mac. Apple just hasn't added this to Mac OS in any real way, so if you have a password to log into an app like Sketch, for example, you're going to have to copy and paste your password into the app to make everything work. But 1Password thinks they have a solution. I'm going to show that to you today. There's one gotcha that I'm going to get to to make sure that you have everything set up correctly so it works smoothly for you. But yeah, it's really cool and it's a new way to just log into any app on your computer with 1Password with just a couple button presses. I'm really, really impressed by it. So let's get into the demo. Okay, so here's the blog post that they posted for the update, and I'm just going to scroll past all the other features they're talking about, because the one I really want to look at is this one more thing, right? A uh, feature they're calling Universal Autofill. And so basically, it lets you log into apps with 1Password automatically without having to copy paste anything. It just kind of does it for you. So um, we're just going to get away from the blog post because you'll just kind of see it in action. Um, but I've got Zoom pulled up and this is one of their examples. I have two other apps I'm going to show you that aren't in their examples and we're going to see if they work. Uh, so here's Zoom. I'm going to use the command shift spacebar to pull this up. You can see my Zoom account is already pulled up and there's autofill there. So if I just hit enter, it's going to autofill my username and password and it's even going to do my two factor code and now I'm into Zoom, and that's awesome. That's super, super great. I'm just into the app with no trouble at all. So let's get out of Zoom. We saw it work there, but that's their demo. That's, of course, going to work. So let's try an app they didn't show off. So here's Things. I have things a Things Cloud account that I log into. So if I hit this, it's going to want me to log in. So I'll say log in. OK, now my email and password are on, on screen. So I'll hit the same keyboard shortcut. Things Cloud shows up. I can just hit Autofill. and it autofills it for me and signs me in. And now I can sync my uh, to-dos and everything. Um, I'll just do that later. But that totally worked as well. Let's try one more. So here's Sketch. Um, and so I have a Sketch account as well. So I'm going to sign in. Same thing, email address, password. Let's hit the shortcut. Ooh, there's nothing here. So this is actually interesting. So it actually didn't automatically detect what app I'm trying to sign into and what I want to show. So let's see what we can do. So let's go to Sketch. And I actually have a number of things here. Um, but this first one is the one that I want. It's called Sketch 2021. And so you can see over on the right, it says open and fill. So whatever you see over there is what's going to happen if you just hit enter. And open and fill means open your web browser, go to this website and fill it out. But that's not what I want to do. So what I want to do is hit the right arrow for more actions. And now you can see I have a whole bunch of things I can do, right? I can copy the username, copy the password, open item in a new window, open and fill, and then autofill. Autofill is the one that I want. So that's shift return, or I could just arrow down to it. So if I just select autofill, it's going to autofill this into this app. Now it is going to warn me like, hey, we can't verify that Sketch should have access to your Sketch 2021 item. Do you want to fill it anyway? So I can fill it once or I can up fill and update the login. And so if I do fill and update the login, it's going to fill those out and sign me in, right? And so now I'm still in Sketch. If I hit Command Shift Spacebar to pull this up and escape out of here, um, it should, well, I guess there's nothing to autofill, but basically it should show this as an autofill option, or it does actually, I'm sorry. Yeah, so now it shows autofill as an option. Took a second for it to update, but now if I go into Sketch again, if, after I've logged out or I signed into, I guess if I log out, <laughs> it'll autofill and show that there. So yeah, so I guess long story short, it works. And if it doesn't automatically figure out what app is supposed to be there, it's going to let you choose and then associate that login with that app. Now, one of the things that I think is important to know here is that if I uh, pull up things and I have this one right here. So if I go to more actions and I open this in one password, you're gonna see it here. And now this one didn't work for me. So this is actually why I'm re-recording this video. Um, you may, this might be the second time you're seeing this, um, but I re-recorded this video because I tried using this to log into things and it didn't work. And I was confused why it wasn't working. And the reason is because this isn't saved as a login, it's saved as a software license, right? So when you add something to 1Password, you have all these choices for like, what sort of item are you entering? And so for this, I chose, uh, software license. I didn't choose login because there was no website to go to. Uh, there's still no website to go to to log into your Things account. You always log into the app, so I considered it a software license. It turns out that 1Password will not detect software licenses or any other. As far as I can tell, any of these other ones won't show up in the app login. So if you're trying to log into an app, 
the only way it will actually log in is if it's stored as a login type uh, entry in one password. If you have it saved as a software license, not going to show up. Not even if you like arrow over and like choose autofill, autofill won't be there. It really has to be a login. So just keep that in mind. Um, to make things work, I had to save a second one as um, and scroll to the top and you can see I have things cloud here saved as a new item and it's actually a login. So yeah, uh, that's a thing to know about it. Uh, it's not ideal. I would love to see that if that they'll let autofill work with anything where we have a username and password saved, but that's not how it works now. But yeah, that's how this new universal autofill works. Uh, it's pretty darn cool. Um, and as long as you have things saved as logins, it's gonna work great for you. Um, it's worked great for me. I cannot find an app <laughs> that doesn't work um, and that's awesome. So. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, hit the like button. If you didn't, um, just go on to the next video. No need to hit any buttons. Uh, we'll see you here next time. Bye-bye.